doctor, your wife's on the phone. She said it's an emergency. Hey, excuse me, I'll be right back. You want to see it? Huh? You want to see your kid? I can see it from here. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, take a closer look. It's your kid. No, 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 no. Come on. No, come no, on. No, no. You gotta no, take no. a closer Johnny, look. Johnny, so that's close enough, Johnny. He's beautiful. Go. Yeah. Come I'll on. trade you. Catch. What the? Oh shit! Oh god. Fuck, dude. That's somebody's kid. Well, it's not my fault. A Rod, you were supposed to catch it. We gotta find something. Scoop it up. There's containers over there. Get scoop it up with that. No, no, that's not gonna work. You need two of them. You gotta scoop one into the other. Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, Jesus! Oh my God! I'm blinking it in! Oh my God! It's in my fucking mouth! Hey, wait, wait, hang on. I gotta post this on Facebook. No! Hashtag Grr Mondays. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's all my guys doing this evening? It's your man here in the building, the Shave Lion King, bro. And I'm back today, man, because I want to talk to y'all about something important, man. I got to keep it real, bro. All right. I got to keep it real, bro. Okay. I've been going on this journey, man. Okay. I've been seeing a lot, bro. All right. Life is crazy over here, bro. <laughs> they need to make some retention goggles. <laughs> and then you could sell them in the stores. And for all the people that can never, ever, ever imagine being able to make it this far on this type of journey, bro, can put these goggles on, bro. And they can experience what the life of a true retainer is like. I have to keep it real, bro, okay? Because stuff out here is crazy, man. <laughs> man, life is so great. It's so, man, I can't explain it, bro. I'm going to try to find the perfect words to explain it, man. But I was sitting here thinking today, bro, and I was just like, man, the more I go without sex, the more I realized I don't even need it. I don't even think about it. I used to think about it so much, bro. Okay. You got to understand a lot of us got traumatized really young in our lives. A lot of us saw a lot of things that we weren't supposed to see when we were younger, bro. Okay. Let's keep it real. All right. And I remember being younger and starting out that addiction phase, you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm actually going to play a little clip of a video, too, about some not-so-popular celebrities talking about, you know, the things that they like to do with a man, and they like to men to release their energy. So I'm going to play that here in a little bit. But I was sitting here thinking about it, man, and I was like, you know what? That time that I was in that phase, bro, where all I wanted to do was give my energy energy bro to the corn you remember that time bro do you remember how much energy how much thought okay how much effort it took to make sure that you met those demands okay i want you to really put your mind in that thought bro of how much effort and energy it took to meet those demands the things that you had to do the 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 humiliating things that you did and, and, you know, just to satisfy your lower self, let's, let's keep it real, man. Okay. When we were younger, bro, when we did those things, we still had that negative, bad feeling about it. Even when we were young. Okay. Let's keep it real. Right. We still had that negative, bad feeling about it. And I want you to think about all those times, bro, that you did it in the name of just trying to please your senses, knowing that you probably had already done it once or twice that day. But yet and still, you chose to still go against those good voices in your head telling you what was right and wrong, okay? That time, those times, bro, Okay, think about that kind of energy that it took you to put you into that position. Okay, we did a lot of, you know, things that most of us don't want to admit. Okay, I told you I've gone to several of those little 
little spots where they sell tapes back in the day. Okay. I told you I've been in an arcade before. I've told you my gross stories about it. And I remember, bro, on how much energy that took from me. And now that I'm here on this other side of the bell, bro, when I look back, man, it just makes you so appreciative, bro, of what you've gone through and what you had to see in life. So you can be, you can be in a position, bro, where you can help others achieve this same thing. Because all the things that we see as a retainer over here, some of of, of us can't find the proper words to explain to you what it is that we're seeing and what we're going through. You would never believe it. Okay. This is why they have the literature out there talking about the sixth sense and all these extra elements that are added to you while you're retaining your seat. It's a reason why they are telling you that. Okay. Cause it's the truth. Okay. I'm sitting over here now, bro. And I'm realizing that the more I stay away from that energy, the more that I have focused, bro, the more that I have taken that energy that was leeching so much vitality from my life, bro, okay, mainly creative energy, okay, mainly expressive energy, mainly confidence in a lot of ways. All my attributes are up in the 90s. This is what I want you to understand. Okay, we most of us sit here and think this is a joke, but it's not. How is it not? When I just explain to you how much energy, effort, drive, focus, attention, okay, vitality is leached from your vessel when you're living on the other side of this veil. Okay, and now when you are not, all of that energy that was now going for not is now supercharging your avatar. Okay. And it works in so many ways. Like I said, a lot of these things are six sense things that us humans are not yet in tune with. Okay. We can't perceive a lot of things. So when I tell you that these things are going on and it's surreal to me, and sometimes I don't even know how to explain it. Okay. Like I'll give you a small example. I was out the other day. I was hanging out went to go get myself something to eat, bro. Okay. I'm sitting down about to get my food out of nowhere. This woman walks up to me, grabs my face with two hands. Okay. I'm dead serious. Grab my face with two hands, bro. And said, you're so handsome. And I just like, kind of was like shocked because she literally just walked up to me and put her hands on my face, bro. <laughs> okay. Now I know a lot of you are just like, Oh, well, that's cool. Aren't you happy? <laughs> yes. And no. Okay. For the simple fact that, you know, it, we understand that women can get away with more of that, but I couldn't imagine just going up to a chick, bro, that I thought I was really digging, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And just kind of put my hands on her face and told her that I thought she was gorgeous. You know what would happen? Okay. And I was just shocked that this is a public area and this lady, <laughs> you know, did this to me and it, it made me smile. I'm not going to lie. It made me smile. And I said, thank you. But at the same time, I have to think in 2024 or what just took place, <laughs> you know? So I'm sitting there and she's just talking to me, asking me some questions, you know, ask me what do I do for work, you know, that type of thing. And, you know, and then we talked a little bit more and then we went our separate ways. But the simple fact that these type of things happen out of the norm. Okay. Th this isn't something that happens to everyday regular men. Okay. And this is why I'm trying to tell you it's, there's so many different things. Okay. So many different things that have happened and I, I've lived a life of, you know, of being chosen before by women. So, in, in that case, I should be used to a woman coming up and grabbing my face like that, right? And it's never happened, okay? And I definitely wouldn't expect it to happen this further, you know, this far along in my life, okay? So when things like that happen, bro, okay, it makes me try to dissect why that happened. What did I do? What, what, what was I doing so different? What, what kind of body language is, cause I, I have no idea where this woman was looking at me from. 
Okay. I don't know how long she had been looking at me. I don't know any of that. All I know is I was just sitting down waiting for my food and this is what happened. Okay. So it had to have been something that I was doing, but I know as a retainer that my demeanor, okay, my frame, okay, my posture, all right, the tone of my voice when I speak, okay, the way that I dress, the way that I carry myself, okay, the glow skin, okay, the, all of these things is what I get from holding my sexual energy. This is all I get. I get all of these extra things added to me. Okay. Instead of taking away from me, like I told you when you are in that cycle and you're constantly having to put out and meet these demands to satisfy your lower self, but you don't understand that there's much more negative consequences, you know, that are mostly unseen <laughs> to the eye that is taking place within your temple. Okay. Instead of me just wasting that energy, I'm sitting back here, bro. Okay. And everything is being used for beneficial enhancement of my avatar and the things that i'm telling you that happen to me on the day-to-day -day, okay cosigns everything that i have just said i just simply had just told you that i wish i had some retention goggles <laughs> because you think it's a joke you think it's a game on what happens and the funny thing is I really highly and truly believe that everybody has the same level of magnetism, but we choose to not get into that energy. Okay. We choose to not get into that energy. Guys, the longer I've been going, this is what's been happening to me. Okay. The longer I've been going, I've been realizing I don't need this. And then I thought about it. I said, you know how I feel? This is how I feel. And I know a lot of you might be able to relate on what I'm about to say. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know how I feel, bro? I'm going to tell you how I feel. I feel like I'm at that stage right now, bro. Where, and this is how I feel now. I'm telling you the truth. I'm at that stage right now where it was right before. You remember right before you first had intercourse or were intimate with a girl? Do you remember that stage where you just was happy on filling on some tatas and filling the temperature of her pizza, right? That's all we was concerned about, bro. All right. At that point, we wasn't, we wasn't thinking about coming up off of nothing. We didn't even know that our super soaker 150 did that. Okay. We just thought it was a super soaker. All right. But the bottom line is the time, bro, when you thought that all you need to do is rub on some tatas and feel the temperature of that pizza. Okay. That's all we needed at one point. We didn't even, un we didn't even know that we could release this fluid, bro. All right. Which release a dopamine rush in our brains, which would turn us into junkies. We didn't know that. We didn't know that yet. Okay. We were in that in between stage. And this is why I'm telling you, I feel like I'm at. Bro, even if I were to get, even if I were to do something with the girl right now, like I, I, bro, I was just feeling butterflies, just having my hands on, on, on some girl's waist. <laughs> you, you feel me? Like it's been that long and it's made me, it's made me act and walk such a different, you know, pure type of high vibrational type of frequency, bro, that I have seriously kept my eyes and my mind and my thoughts off of anything like that. I don't pull up anything like that, bro. I promise you, if you, if I had retention goggles, you would be seeing what I would do every day and you would never see me pull up anything that was going to put me into that mindset. Okay. Nothing. I don't search any of that. I have plenty of old pictures or something I could look at, bro. And I, I have not done that. Okay. I have not done that because Earlier on in my journey, I learned on what that did to my mind and how that was a chink in my armor and it could perhaps make me, you know, fall off the wagon and go back to relapse. That's what I felt. Okay. But now, as I'm telling you guys, now that I'm sitting here, bro, and I'm in this seat, I'm in this position, I understand that I am going to be having a trade-off of energy that is not going to be worth it.
So when I tell you when you go on retention that you are going to change on what it is that you want in life, okay? You're going to understand like when I told you there's no turning back, there's no turning back. That means you're not going to go back to being super player, okay? That means you're not going to go back to doing anything like that, bro, okay? You're not going to go back to being You're not going to go back to doing that, bro, okay? Your life is going to change from here on out, bro. And what you understand, you understand is that person that comes into my life has to be special, okay? And me being able to play in your pizza, okay, before marriage, okay, before a relationship is not going to lock a man like me in, okay? We are talking about 1% real men, okay? women's dream. Okay. A guy that's in touch with all of his being. Okay. He is balanced in each one of his chakras. He is balanced between the masculine and the feminine. Okay. He carries himself completely different. He stands out. Okay. This is what a modern day retainer brings to the table. All right. And once a woman is in your vicinity if she's trying to get into your life she's going to find out that it is not just no easy trip into this door okay it's 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 going to make her more attracted to a guy like you because you are not giving out that type of vibe that type of energy okay you're giving out on i'm very focused I know what it is I want. I'm in no rush because I've developed patience. You get patience on this journey. It's one of the number one things that you learn. And, you, and that patience goes everywhere, not with just retaining your seed, but it goes in directly into your life. And you become patient with a lot of different things. And when you become patient with a lot of different things, guess what that does to you, gentlemen? You're learning now, okay? you're learning. Why? Because you're getting a different perspective. And when I tell you it's so important to understand all of the things that you go through on retention is a life, as a life lesson, is a journey, is a chapter in your book, okay? And you're able to dissect every single moment and live in the moment, bro, okay? And be able to make yourself a better person overall. And this is why they're going to choose you. Okay. This is why they're going to sense you. Okay. Your energy is different, man. All right. And, but, but the, the craziest thing about retention is this. Okay. I'll say this really briefly. The craziest thing is, is this, you're going to attract a lot. You're going to attract so much, bro. Okay. But it's just going to be something that you're going to have to get used to. Okay. You're going to have to get used to attracting a lot of attention. You're going to have to get used to, you know, people possibly wanting to be in relationships with you. But here's the point. The point is you as a retainer, if once you hit the point of no turning back, okay, life's very different now. Okay. And I promise you, now that you know that you have to take responsibility for everybody that you let in your life, what you end up doing is now, bro, is now a way harder, you know, job application that is being filled out. We're talking about we're doing all these extracurricular checks <laughs> to make sure that this person is going to be the person for the job. Okay. I'm not sitting up here with four or five applications. Okay. Okay. I barely want to have one, all right, because I understand on where I'm at, where I'm going, the the to, to, the trajectory of to where I'm going with my type of creative energy and my ability to be able to talk and reach anybody, I can create what I want, okay? And I tell you this, those women see and know that, bro, okay? in someone who is retaining like you. That is your gift. That is what makes you going to be the person of choice over all the other men because you have that ability, okay? You don't need 
a relationship. You have everything that you need. You understand, bro, that if I come off of my energy, bro, okay, for no good reason, bro, that I might as well just be reaching in my pockets and just making it rain, okay? And you need to understand that even, even, um, even that thing right there, bro, okay, is literally applied to making it rain. The more that you do that, bro, okay, the more that you're going to take away from what it is that you're trying to create, all right? And I'm not telling you you can't do certain things, but you're missing the point here, okay? You're not just doing this. Your life has now completely changed, bro. It's not just, it's not cracking like that. You're not just going to beat down something because it's a butter face with cakes. You're not going to do that, bro. Okay. You're beyond that. That's for the low vibrational people. Okay. You're not even looking at, looking for Miss Gorgeous. You want somebody that is close as possible to you in energy and frequency. Okay. That would mean same diets damn near. Okay. That would mean same, you know, health routine and habits. Okay. Same way that you view maybe political things. I don't know what it is that you want. I'm just telling you when it comes down to this, you are now have pulled your energy from S E X bro. And now what you're looking to do is you're looking to build Okay. And you can build all by yourself. Don't get it twisted. You can build all by yourself, but there is nothing better if you find those rubies out there, those rare rubies of women out there, bro, who are going to inspire you and take you to the next level. Okay. Because I tell you one thing, some people might not love some people, but that word love is word love for a reason. Love will make you do the most craziest and most amazing things that any other energy in this world, bro, will never be able to do for you. Okay. And that's why it's so important for you as a retainer to understand on what it is you're trying to do when you go on this journey. Like I told you, cause there's no going back. This is why people quit because they rationalize at one point on their journey about what it is that they really are about to face, which is themselves. A lot of people aren't ready to walk this path. A lot of people aren't ready to walk this journey, bro, because it takes a lot of self discipline and people quit these days. Why? Because they made quitting a thing. So people quit and they give up and they don't understand, bro, that this is for the better. Okay. This is going to make sure that you're that solid piece in your family, bro, who can save and change lives. Not only with your family, but whoever else that you come in contact with. This is why this is such an important element to our society, bro. Okay. And why once you go on this journey of saying no to S E X bro, and understand that you have the power to be down here, bro, and live a life of fulfillment and happiness, attracting that true mate that you're supposed to be with through the process and not jumping off before and midway. Okay. Through the process, bro, you will then have that life that we're all supposed to have. But th like I said, this is the life of the chosen, man, because there's not many chosen. Everybody want to claim they chosen. Okay. Chosen one, chosen ones go through ish, bro. Chosen ones have the hardest test. And if you're trying to tell me this is not the hardest test, when I told you this is the hardest thing for a man to do, let alone even female, because they're having the same issues. This is the hardest thing to do. And I'm out here mastering it. Why a lot of you still haven't got on your tricycle yet. Okay. There's a reason why you're here. There's a reason why you're listening. Okay. I don't know what it is that I got to say to you 
Okay. I don't know what it is that I got to show you. I've proved so much to you. Okay. I've given it to you. All right. When I tell you this is the one, this is the one. Okay. And it will change your life around miraculously. Okay. You won't even be the same person. All right. It'd be like you leaving a little pot smoking kid from high school and then go to the Marines and you only came back from the Marines after five, six years. You're going to be a very sharp, cut, toned up, no bull crap, focused, goal oriented, drive type of individual, but even better than a Marine. Okay. Because all your faculties are on point. Nobody can't mess with you, bro. Spiritually, physically, or mentally. You have chi power. Okay. It is real. This ain't no video game, bro. This ain't no fake TV movie. This is the real life. All right. And you're living in real time right now, listening to this. And you need to let this resonate and vibrate off your damn or right now, bro, and let it sink in, plant that seed and let it grow, bro, because this is going to change your life. Not only that, it's going to probably save your life. We have a lot of things going on out here, you guys. All right. They're taking our health left and right. I can sit up here and make a whole stream about health alone, but the major capstone to this thing is retaining your seed because with proper nutrition and retaining your seed, you are now living in the highest level of efficiency. But unfortunately, because of the society that we live in, you're having two negatives pull on you at once. And I hate to see people that I used to know. I hate to see people that I know. I hate to see people that I just meet. I hate to see people walking around in public that are all defeated and depleted, all out of shape, low vibrational, sad, okay? Avatars just rotting away because they done gave up, all right? When I told you that they want to make you give up, that's why they're attacking you from all angles. But you need to understand that this is the most important piece to that armor of God, bro. Okay? This is the glow. All right? This is the firmament, bro. All right? This is the invisible force field. This is your life force energy, your light saber, bro. Okay? This is the this is the front line, bro. All right. And it's a reason why they are attacking it and doing what they're doing. And you guys got to smarten up. All right. You got to smarten up, bro. All right. Because I'm telling you, I am not going to be a statistic. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to break all the statistics. I'm going to show you on somebody who retains a seed. All right. The true power. I'm going to show you the true health benefits, all right? When I tell you I have the thickest, longest, tightest hair, bro, and it all came from me retaining my sexual life force energy, and people want to scream and yell and say genetics all day, no, no. The problem is you ruined your genetics. It might be genetics on you, but you ruined your genetics. Because I have genetics of m plenty of family members, bro. Okay. And I can, we can, all, I, I'm telling you right now, the bottom line is this. Okay. I still have all of my thick, my hair is so thick, bro. My beard hair grows, my hair grows so fast, so thick. It's annoying. Okay. And this happened right after I started doing retention. I told you guys that there was a, a time there where, I was releasing too many times and I started to notice my hair was, uh, my hairline was receding. I told you guys, and that was years ago. And now, <laughs> dude, I got a man. When I tell you I have a full hairline, bro, and a full head of hair, bro, like I can go and get my hair twisted and done in any kind of ways, but I just don't, I started to notice that that's putting a little bit too much stress on my hair. So I might shy away from the, the locks and the dreads, but that's a different story. But the simple fact of the matter is guys,
that this energy, I've seen it work in so many different ways. And for the simple fact that alone that it has done that to my body, okay, the enhancements, when I want to work out, okay, because I don't work out like that anymore. I don't try to hit the weight super. I'm not interested. In, that's not where I'm putting my energy. My energy is going other places, okay? And there's it, nothing wrong with lifting weights or doing anything like that. Do your thing. I'm putting my energy other places. That's not important enough for me. Okay. That's not going to get me to where I'm trying to go by looking swole. That's not going to get me anywhere. Okay. That's just something that I'm doing in a, a small moment of my life just to maximize it maybe. Okay. Cause that's how I looked at it. But for now, what I'm doing, bro, is like I said, I am using all of my energy to create the life that I want. And the life that I want, as I told you guys, I would love, of course, I would love to have another child. Who wouldn't? I'm not saying I'm going to do that in 2024. A lot of things have changed. Okay. 2024 is a very scary year, bro. All right. Even 2023 was pretty scary. All right. There's just too many things going on out here that I want to bring any kind of life. Okay. Especially from my seed and my blood here, bro. All right when there, we've seen so many different elements of breakups and disastrous, you know, ch childhoods for people, you know, I'm just not going to bring anybody in that. So that might be out the door. I thought about getting married. That's not going to work here in America. Unfortunately, there's just no trust. All right. I'm not playing with that revolver. I'm not playing Russian roulette, bro. All right. I'm cool. All right. I don't want to do all that. All right. I, I really want that at the end of the day, bro. But we're in a time of change. All right. We're, we're, we're on the way. Um, you, you can either look at it up or down, however you want to symbolize it, but we're on the, the, the curve of change. Okay. And when there's change, there's going to be all sorts of things that happen. And I don't want to be caught up in that either, unfortunately. Okay. So now the only thing that I'm looking for is a partner and I don't even really need the partner. Okay. So this is, things change when you go this long on your journey, you guys, okay? I'm just telling you from my perspective to where I'm at right now, okay? You know, been retaining this long and my perspectives have changed over the three month, the six month and the one year. And now they've changed over into the two year because now I'm really starting to rationalize. Okay, I'm really starting to think protection of myself. There is nothing more that I want than to give my energy to another person who is worthy. Because I promise you one thing, and this is going to come off maybe a little egotistical, but hey, uh, this is the first time you're going to hear me say that. Okay. I never had a problem with performance in my relationships. That was never it. Okay. I can tell you firsthand, bro. Okay. I could tell you firsthand, bro. That has never, ever been an issue. Okay. Never. So that is not the issue. That is not the problem. Okay. The problem is, bro, that people are not getting together for the right reasons anymore. Okay. Flat out point blank period. People are not getting with each other for the right reasons. There's going to be an uneven exchange. The man is going to lose in every single spectrum, even in a relationship. So imagine how much worse it could possibly be in, you know, be in a marriage. Okay. I'm not telling you not to do it. You guys do what you want to do. Okay. I'm just telling you to look at it with a rational mind and understand that do you you've probably been living a comfortable life especially if you're on retention you're you have peace okay you have your sanity you have your mind you're being creative you're creating a new life the last thing that you want to do is to bring in an energy that's going to set you back okay and this is unfortunately what's happening here in 2024 all right in america so that's all I really wanted to tell you guys. Okay. I just wanted you guys to see it from this perspective to understand that the longer you go, guys, the less you're going to need it. And guess what? That's not a bad thing. 
Now let me under let me ask you one more thing before I get out of here. Everything that is bad for us was shown to us. I want you to think about it. Everything that was ever bad for us was shown to us. Could you imagine a world where humans were never shown, you know, masturbation? Could you imagine a world where humans were never shown drugs? Can you imagine a world where humans were never shown sexual images? Could you imagine a world where humans were never given alcohol? Okay. Could you imagine a world of that, bro? All right. That is how we are supposed to be. We have been shown many, many traumatizing things since a little kid. Okay. Most of us have, bro. All right. And the only way we're going to get back ourselves, our minds, our lives is to go back to zero point. When, what was, when was zero point? Zero point when, is when you used to run outside barefooted. Okay. Food stains all over your face. Okay. Ride your bike all day, play in the yard all day, play tag, draw color pictures. Okay. Play double Dutch. All right. Volleyball, tether ball, basketball, baseball. All right. That's the life that we need to get back to because that is natural life. The life that we're living now, unfortunately, guys, all right, has set us back. Okay. We are, we are not evolving anymore. Okay. We're going backwards. All right. And we have to fight back, bro. All right, we have to fight back. We have to understand that this was shown to us. We would have never been corrupted, okay? This is literally the story of Adam and Eve, okay? Because somebody came and showed us the forbidden fruit, okay? What is the forbidden fruit? The forbidden fruit are the two grapes you got between your legs and the banana, okay? That's what that is, bro, okay? That's what the forbidden fruit is. Someone showed us what the forbidden fruit was, bro. All right. And then guess what? That's when sin started. Okay. Because now we all see that we naked. All right. And now we understand what these parts do. So the reason I can prove this to you is go back to zero point before you were corrupted as a child. And I just told you, go put your mind, go imagination, all, all those things that I just said, go imagine all those things that I just said. All right. And understand during that time that you had not a thought of anything like this. Think about it. You had not a thought, bro, okay, of anything like this, okay, because you were taught this disgusting, sick, degenerate behavior, all right? And this is why it's imperative for you to go back to zero point to that time, put yourself in that mindset and watch how your whole perception on life changes. Watch how quickly you remember how you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. And this is real as it can be. Okay. I'm telling you the truth. This is the real as it can be guys. All right. This is what I'm seeing through my retention goggles. I hope I drew a great picture for you. All right. And these are the things that you have to deal with and cope with. All right. It's almost like the movie Bruce Almighty. You guys remember that movie Bruce Almighty? You remember the part where Bruce Almighty got the powers of God? Do you remember that part? And you remember how he just couldn't handle all the shit because all the names was calling to him and they was praying to him and he had all these things going. This is the kind of same shit you're going to have to deal with when you are on your retention journey, bro. And there's no turning back because your mind is going to work to this level of trying to fix, solve, create, protect. Okay. And you're going to dissect everything around you. And this is why you become a genius because now you can create things out of nothing. All right. This is a superpower. All right. And only 1% of the people in this world are going to be able to cultivate this energy. Okay. Whip it around and kick your ass in the mouth like Bruce Lee. And there ain't nothing you're going to be able to do about it. 
all right? Because these people chose to do this when everybody out here has the opportunity to be the same as anybody else who is walking that journey. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys tonight, man. You got to keep being you. You got to keep walking this journey, bro, okay? Before civilization took over, before we had the industrial age, people used to walk miles and miles and miles barefoot to get to where they wanted. Okay, there's a hell of a lot more hard work back then than there is now, all right? And we got to get back to our roots. We got to get back to our strengths. We got to get back to the things that make us great, bro. And you know who it is that we're supposed to be. We're all these little innocent, young, little souls that never grew up in adult bodies. That's us, man. We just want to have fun. We just want to love on people. We just want to share. We just want to laugh. We want to kick it. We want to ride bikes. We don't play tag, all right? We want to have sleepovers, all right? We want to play video games, all right? You got to get your mind back to that point in life, bro. And if you can do that, I promise you, man, it'll be the best thing that you've ever done. And you can understand where I'm sitting at and what I'm feeling. And the reason I come on here and I give it to you like this, because I it can't be faked. Nothing that I'm telling you, it cannot be faked. It's all experience. It's all wisdom. It's all knowledge that we all have inside of us because we all are procrastinating to go on our journey so we can learn. But don't listen to me because I don't know what I'm talking about. So I appreciate you guys being in here tonight. I'm going to talk with you guys. I'm going to read some of these comments real quick and then I'm going to get out of here. Oh, my man, Dylan in the building. What's happening with you, Dylan? Dylan says, Darius, you ever heard of people saying that balding is a result of having too much testosterone? I've heard multiple people say that. And I think it's BS. Well, you got something right there, Dylan. Let me tell you what you got right there. Too much testosterone. You're right about that because the, the people that are doing that, bro, are the people that are bending over and taking the needle in the ass cheek. And you're right. They got too much testosterone in their body. <laughs> And that's why they had that problem. There's no such thing as that, bro. It, there's only a couple ways to do it. Number one, you just have a really bad diet. Okay, don't you got to get over people saying these genetics. It has nothing to do with the genetics. Yes, some people have bad genetics, but we're talking about a very small percentage of people. Okay, most people just don't take care of themselves. All right, and it isn't because they don't know any better. It's just society has made it that way. Everybody's sick. Everybody is a patient. <laughs> Everybody's in the medical system. Okay, it's happened like that for a reason, bro. But the simple fact, bro, is most people out here, bro, are on extra sauce man okay a lot of people out here are on extra sauce because now we live in the age where people can go spend a, you know five ten thousand dollars and get hair hair transplant surgery okay some people would rather have the biggest muscles in the world because they have insecurities bro that they can't be like they can't be accepted that they can't get women bro without looking like a meathead Okay, and I'm not talking about regular guys. I'm talking about these guys that this overdo the shit that you clearly know that are doing steroids. I'm not talking about the hard working retaining guys that are working out. I'm talking about these social media icons that are getting people to indulge in their lifestyle. This is causing way more illnesses around our world because these people are trying to live these lifestyles which are fake anyway. Okay. A lot of people are getting harmed from that type of stuff. So bro, look, man, simple fact of the matter is bro, that just be yourself. Stop trying to be like everybody else. There's tons of consequences. We're trying to take testosterone and look big, bro. Okay. Don't be a dummy. Listen to the OG, bro. Okay. You have a liver, you have some, you have a, uh, and some kidneys. And I'm telling you right now, bro, it's a reason why there's over 65% of people right now in this world with chronic kidney disease in America. Okay from chronic kidney disease. And if you go go pumping any type of PEDs, any kind of SARMs, any kind of any kind of testosterone, whatever you're taking, TRT, it doesn't matter. You're putting these doses of this stuff into your body, bro, that you have no clue what you're doing, bro. 
you don't understand that your body breaks things down so specific, just how it breaks down protein, bro, breaks it down all the amino acids and gets it down all these perfect ratios. And here you go pumping this stuff into you and you have no idea what you're doing. You're causing an extreme amount of long-term damage. And most people end up cutting their lives extremely short. So if you're out there, this is just a public service announcement. Don't do drugs. Okay. No steroids, man. Work hard, bro. You can achieve anything you want by being natural. Insight, what's happening with you, bro? <laughs> Truth Broadcasting Station says, got that yesterday with a woman telling me I was incredible sexy. Ha <laughs> ha. I bet, bro. I bet you on a long streak, brother. You on a long streak. Yeah, you start blushing. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's, it's a it's a nice compliment, bro. But I just think it's kind of weird that, you know, people are still doing that today. They, they think they can just walk up and just touch someone like that, bro, and it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm not tripping. I'm just telling you, bro, th that's just not a good look because if people start doing that, man, there's going to be a lot of problems going on. You know what I mean? So people got to be careful. That's what it is, bro. Just oozing sexual energy. I'm telling you, that's what it is, man. I mean, pheromones are pheromones for a reason, bro. I, I, the other day I said, I'm going to create a damn uh, de uh, deodorant. I'm going to call it Funk Dupur. <laughs> Funk du pur. You guys all have your funk du pur. You know what your funk du pur is? Funk du pur is when you go to the gym in that white t shirt, bro. All right. And you get all that yellow stain built up under your arm, bro. And you go throw that mug in the in the washer and you don't wash it for two days. And that bitch come out all stanking, bro. That's called that funk du pur. And let me let me explain something to you. Why right? most of you will sit here and think that that's nasty. Let me tell you something. Do you know women absolutely love that smell, bro? Do you know women love the smell a man's work clothes, workout clothes? Why do you think that is, bro? That's because those are pheromones, you retarded. <laughs> it's pheromone, bro. Okay? It's that's what it leaks, okay? So as a retainer, bro, okay, you're going to have a whole lot more potent, more than that to excrete, bro. All right. So that's one of those things that I like to do, bro. Okay. I'll keep a couple of shirts around that are like that, bro. And I be dang to tell you, bro, that a lot of women always ask me, what am I wearing? No cap. Fellas, our seed is the breath of life that God breathed through our nostrils when he created us. Facts, brother. Facts, man. That's the truth, bro. That is the truth, man. And, I, you know, I'm starting to think there's a big turn of the tide, bro. I ain't going to I ain't gonna cap to you, man. There, there's been a lot of change, bro. I see a lot of positive change, you know, happening here. Yes, it's not happening as fast as we want it, but let's, let's, let's keep the facts. Most people are just not going to get it. Okay, we should be happy for the people that have changed and the people that we are changing because most people are just not going to change. So we got to expect at some point, bro, at, at, there's going to be, you know, certain people that are just not going to be saved and we got to just deal with that. So we got to understand that there's not going to be a large percentage of people that get this message. All right. That's just what we have to face as retainers, bro. Okay. We can give out the information all we want. We can't make, we can't, you know, lead a horse to a water and make a drink. The horse has got to do what he wants to do. Okay. For his best interest. Okay. And like I said, a lot of people just not on this awoke journey right now. Okay. It's not their time. Their, their, their spiritual awakening alarm clock is not going off yet. Okay. And we just got to plant the seed, bro, and move on. And eventually they'll get it. Nick says, SR gives us purity back. That feeling is priceless, bro. Man, Nick, bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. When I told, when I tell you I'm at that stage right now in my life, bro, I'm no cat, bro. Like I would have butterflies right now. Just put rubbing my hand up a chick's back, bro. And knowing that I might go up and touch her bra, like that would, that would give me butterflies right now, bro. I'm at the stage right now where I could just rub on some tatas and feel the temperature of that pizza, bro. And I'm good.
I'm good. I'm good. Shit, I'm about to go home, ride my bike, play my PS5, bro. I'm about to go home and do something fun. I'm at that stage, bro. Okay. That stage where you just, yeah, it's there and it's cool, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to indulge in that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go backwards, man. I just don't, I can't foresee myself ever going backwards to someone that's just going to make that a priority. All right. Knowing what that does, uh, that I'm just not going to go back to being that person and it's not worth it, man. I've said millions of reasons why, you know, I've, I've given you the best breakdown of it and I'm just never going back to that person, bro, because I truly honestly love feeling this feeling of purity. I honestly do, bro. Like I said, I have no guilt. I have no shame. I sleep so good, bro. I'm always smiling. I'm not hiding nothing. I've been open about my whole life on the internet. What the hell do I got the shame about? So you can wonder why I've released everything. I have no burdens. I've released everything in the name of love. I've given myself over to the unknown. I have walked this path and mastered it. And you get to a point, bro, where you just exist. I just exist right now, bro. I'm not trying to be super swole. I'm not trying to be super rich. I'm not trying to be super seen. All I'm doing is living my life feeling clean. That's all I'm doing, bro. Okay. And I, ha I have nothing negative that is bothering me that impacts my mind. All I think is positive all day. And that's why these amazing things keep happening. I have the most amazing people, bro, that have just now came into my life, man crazy bro how things work man crazy how energy comes back to you if that's the energy that you're putting out what up jim happening what's happening jim my man my man jim good to see you bro jim says he keeps changing for the better that's what you got to do bro you're this is the way I look at it, man. Your journey will never be over, bro. You're going to always keep constantly learning. You're not going to learn everything down here. You can get so far where you understand that you, you've got way more to learn, but you've already learned so much. And that's where you get these people that claim, you know, that say they're masters and yogis. Yes, they've learned an awful lot. And they've got to a certain point where now... They understand that they've learned so much or the, where the average person is probably not going to get to. And yet they still have a whole nother journey ahead of them. All right. That is what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be keep changing for the better, bro. You're supposed to keep getting better. Okay. Your, your cup is never supposed to be full. This is why I don't understand how people get so caught up in all these opinions of societies. Okay. Because your cup should never be full. You should never think that you know everything. Okay. Especially when you haven't done the journey of, you know, self awakening, you know, your spiritual journey. So it's because as, as a man on SR, most women crave SEX. And if you don't give a lot, We'll leave the relationships. Facts, bro. Facts, bro. And I'll end on this one last thing on this on that question, bro. And we've discussed this in a previous stream, but I'll reiterate it just for the people who might have forgot. Bro, you need to understand something. We understand we talk about how powerful the seed is, right? We talk about all the energy that it takes from our body, all it takes to create it, how much it is in drops per blood to semen. We've talked about all of that, right? So what do you think happens, bro, when you are giving that literal energy? Because we look at it as just liquid energy. No, fool. There's an essence behind that energy. Okay. <laughs> there's an unseen essence that you cannot pen it or you cannot um, see with the eye. Okay. So if you understand that, bro, you understand that every single time that we're giving that to a woman, Every single time we're giving that to a woman, she's taking your essence. She's literally taking your essence. That means your energy, everything about you. She's inhaling it, bro, like a bong hit. She's sniffing it up, bro, like a line, okay? And she is getting high off of that energy, okay? 
it creates an antidepressant like effect. Okay. So she getting high, you know, she's sitting back chilling. Like she don't just smoke the backwood, bro. All right. She's getting high, bro. And then it, all those different things hit her, the testosterone. What? She's getting testosterone spikes, bro. She's getting all sorts of goodies. All right. So it's a reason why she takes your energy, uses your energy, goes out and creates what she wants to create with that energy. Okay. By making herself look better by going to get a better mate. Isn't that what they, isn't that what normally happens? Okay. So we understand, and I'm not sure. I, I think women might understand in a very subliminal way <laughs> on what that does to them. Okay. I don't hear a lot of women talk about it, but I really think they know and they, they could explain it to you, but no one is talking about it. Okay. That type of energy, bro, does do that. Okay, you got to understand she's she's taking that energy, bro, and she's going out in the world and she's using it, bro. This is why some of you see some of the girls that are so damn fine, so damn irresistible because she's got many men's swag, bro. Okay, she got many men's swag. This is why they all end up fighting once they start to get money and they want to become the queen bee. Look at the top of the pyramid on what the queen bee is about. Okay, the queen bee done had many a Negroes. Okay, the queen bee, bro, is the queen bee. She's the baddest because she done had the most dudes. Okay, she done had the most energy, bro. Okay, and now she done used that energy, bro, to create her aura or her persona. This is what this is what it is, bro. This is why they go after the baddest dudes because they want that energy, they want that swag. Okay, they want his essence. Okay, because now she's taking that essence, bro. Now incorporating that essence to her, and believe me, she uses it in many of ways. You can always tell a girl, bro, that's done took men's souls. Okay, because she will be bad to the bone, and I promise you that. So I'm about to get out of here, you guys. Um, I appreciate everybody for being in here tonight, man. I just really wanted to wrap with you guys real quick about this, man. And I will talk to you guys on the next one, man. You guys have a good night. Peace, fellas. I will not stage, stage. Come even if I must sacrifice my life.